as we head into the bottom of the fifth, Team USA has managed to chip away a little bit at this lead and have gotten it down to nine to five for Team Dominican Republic. As we will see catcher Aje Alivo step to the plate. That will be ball two as Nicholas Parker Jr. has come on in relief of Kingston George and Julian Knudsen and has done a very remarkable job. As the count is worked to 3-0 and by Olivo. As I was saying, it's been a stellar job by Nicholas Parker Jr. As he has come on and done a very, very admirable job to throw strikes and make those Team Dominican Republic hitters work here on this hot evening in Tainan. And that's going to be ball four as that pitch is deemed a little bit inside and up by home plate umpire Julio Molina. And that will take us back to the top of the lineup with Carlos Marrero. And he will take that one on the inside corner for a strike one. A great pitch. It's almost like Nicholas Parker Jr. throws that cutter. It kind of starts on the inside part, going at the hitter, and then kind of seeps or leaks back out over that inside part of the plate. And the Team Dominican Republic hitters are not quite able to really pick it up as it starts right at their bodies. It's a very, very hard pitch to kind of put into play as out of the hand of Parker Jr. It looks like a ball all the way. Now, you see the kids kind of swatting at what looks to be flies out there, but I will tell you right now, as I have already swatted a few of those myself, that after a rain like we had today and, and the way it is, the temperature and the humidity outside, sometimes the flying ants will come out. So you can see that there may or may not be some flying ants amongst the players and the crowds out there on the field, which can kind of wreak havoc on you as a hitter and or a pitcher or a player in general in the evening or the night of Taiwan. The ball is smoked up the middle. And that will be runners at first and second to start the bottom of the fifth for Team DR. Not much any of the infielders could do there, as that is just a very clean base hit up the middle. That will take us to the DH tonight, Justin Garcia. like it was going to roll foul, but it hit the chalk line and just stayed as is by Justin Garcia. Unfortunate turn of events there for Leland Henry and Team USA. As he was looking to put a four spot on the board there for Team Dominican Republic. And that will 
will be strike two, painted on the corner by Nicholas Parker Jr. Here's a good healthy cut once again by Gonzalez. Able to get the bat to ball. That's what he's gonna all he's gonna want to do right now at this point in the at bat. Is make sure he puts the ball in play somewhere through perhaps a drawn in Team USA infield. And that ball is hit. We're gonna come home. That will be one down to first. And that will be almost two. But the speed of Gonzalez was able to beat out the throw by Boston Tarjack down there at first. Very close play. But a great play nonetheless. As we come home for one, off to first for two. And he just gets a toe in there to beat out the throw. They knock down the ever so important runner going home, but that still leaves the bases loaded. And that ball is hit to deep center, and you're gonna have to get out the mustard and the tomatoes, because that is a grand salami. 13 to five, Team Dominican Republic on a home run grand slam by Number 17, Gustavo Palmari. 13 to five, Team Dominican Republic. an absolute bomb as he shows some swag here coming into home plate. Now the danger becomes for Team USA is that if Team Dominican Republic is able to put two more runs on the board, that will be the end of this game. And Team Dominican Republic will win by the run rule, because the run rule after five run, after five innings, part of me, is 10 runs. An unpredicted turn of events here in the nightcap game of Team Dominican Republic against Team USA. Now coming to the plate is the center fielder, Kelvin I'm everywhere Reyes. Made some wonderful catches in this game. And that will be a ball to even the count up at two and two. As Team Dominican Republic look to keep this line moving here in the bottom of the fifth and perhaps even walk it off. I know it sounds quite funny when you say walk it off when you're up 13 to five, but those are the rules of the tournament that we play in. And that will be strike three as Kelvin Reyes will be caught looking on a beautiful pitch where Nicholas Parker Jr. pulled the string and caught him looking. And this will be Angel Peralta, who will bunt that one <laughs> straight into the hands of Micah De Los Reyes. And he looks at the dugout like perhaps he missed a sign. He looks a little perplexed. And he'll talk it over with the coaches and dig himself back into the batter's box. And 
that is actually a foul ball. But it looks like it somehow hurt Angel Peralta as it may have come back and hit him on the shoulder after the ball hit the bat. There's that magic freezing spray. Not sure, we see there that it kind of just caught him on the bat. And maybe the actual shock of hitting the bat over the shoulder may have hurt his hands, which in turn could have sent a shock up the arm into the shoulder, which maybe led to the shoulder pain that he felt. That ball comes in there fast and sometimes it shakes the bat in ways we don't really understand. And the nerves in the body, they also work in ways that we don't understand. Unfortunately, for young Peralta, that is a strike, but we just hope he's okay. That arm doesn't go numb on him. And we can hear the Taiwanese fans cheering in both directions, which is always super cool. And the one and two to Peralta will be just a bit outside. Team Dominican Republic have really opened up a 13 to five lead here. And that ball is hit to center and it will drop in front of the charging Raylan Hunter. And we'll put one more runner on the base pass for Team DR. And now one swing of the bat could possibly be detrimental for Team USA. And we hope that Nicholas Parker Jr. can get the job done and send his boys back into the dugout with one more chance to win this. That ball is hit into the gap. That is going to be trouble as it goes almost all the way to the fence. And he will be out at second base before the run could score. Angel Peralta was motoring around the bases and he almost touched home plate 